Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is Judiciary. Question number 1. The idea of the public interest litigation was given by whom? Option A. President of India. Option B. Prime Minister of India. Option C. Supreme Court of India. Option D. Parliament. The correct answer is Option C. Supreme Court of India. The idea of the public interest litigation was given by Supreme Court of India. The last concept of access to justice highlights the role of the public interest litigation, PIL, in facilitating justice. Question number 2. How many judges are in the Supreme Court of India? Option A. 28 other judges. Option B. 27 other judges. Option C. 30 other judges. Option D. 26 other judges. The correct answer is Option C. 30 other judges. The Supreme Court of India comprises the Chief Justice and 30 other judges appointed by the President of India. Question number 3. At which age judge of the High Court get retired? Option A. 62 years. Option B. 65 years. Option C. 60 years. Option D. 64 years. The correct answer is Option A. 62 years. At present, the retirement age is 65 years for Supreme Court judges and 62 years for High Court judges. Question number 4. Unsatisfied from which court an individual go to the Supreme Court? Option A. Loka Dalts. Option B. Nyaya Panchayats. Option C. High Court. Option D. District Court. The correct answer is Option C. High Court. The accused can take the case to the High Court if they were unhappy with the decision of the trial court and can move to the Supreme Court if unhappy with the High Court. Question number 5. What type of cases is related to civil cases? Option A. Kidnapping. Option B. Cheating. Option C. Disputes over property. Option D. Robberies. The correct answer is Option C. Disputes over property. Deals with any harm or injury to the rights of individuals. For example, disputes relating to the sale of land, purchase of goods, rent matters, divorce cases. Question number 6. The Constitution of India has ensured the independence of the judiciary by 1. Protecting salaries and service conditions of judges. 2. Prohibiting the judges from carrying on practice in courts of law after retirement. 3. Providing single judiciary. 4. Ensuring the security of tenure of judges. Option A. 2. 3. 4. Option B. 1. 2. 4. Option C. 1. 2. 3. 4. Option D. 1. 3. The correct answer is. Option C. 1. 2. 3. 4. The Indian Constitution has adopted a single and integrated judiciary but has also made several provisions to ensure the independence of the judiciary. Fixed service conditions, the salaries, allowances, privileges, pension of the judges are determined by Parliament and cannot be changed to their disadvantage except under the circumstances expressly provided by the Constitution. Security of Tenure Judges are appointed by the President and they can be removed following strict grounds. They don't hold office during the pleasure of the President. Ban on practice after retirement. The judges are prohibited to plead or act in any court within India after their retirement. This ensures that they don't have to favor anyone during their job for future benefit. Question number 7. Name the only union territory which has a high court of its own. Option A. Pondicherry. Option B. Delhi. Option C. Chandigarh. Option D. Daman and Diu. The correct answer is. Option B. Delhi. National Capital Territory of Delhi has the only union territory which has a high court of its own. Question number 8. How many high courts are in India? Option A. 21 high courts. Option B. 
25 high courts. Option C. 26 high courts. Option D. 27 high courts. The correct answer is. Option B. 25 high courts. There are 25 high courts in India now. Question number 9. What is the judiciary? Option A. Helper of government. Option B. Controller of government. Option C. Organ of government. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option C. Organ of government. Judiciary is an organ of government that settles disputes through the interpretation of the law. Question number 10. What is the full form of PIL? Option A. Public Interest Limited. Option B. Public Interference Limited. Option C. Public Interest Litigation. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option C. Public Interest Litigation. PIL means Public Interest Litigation. The Supreme Court in the early 1980s devised a mechanism of PIL to increase access to justice. It allowed any individual or organization to file a PIL in the court. Question number 11. Which is the highest judicial authority in a state? Option A. Supreme Court. Option B. High Court. Option C. Loka Dalat. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option B. High Court. High Court is the highest judicial authority in a state. There is 28 states but only 21 high courts. Every citizen of India can approach the High Court if they believe that their fundamental rights have been violated. Question number 12. Which is the foremost judicial body of our country? Option A. Supreme Court. Option B. High Court. Option C. Loka Dalat. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Supreme Court. Supreme Court is the foremost judicial body of our country. The Supreme Court of India consists of the Chief Justice and 26 other judges. It was established on the 26th of January 1950, the day India became a republic. Question number 13. What is rule of law? Option A. Rich people are superior to other. Option B. Low caste people are inferior. Option C. All are same before law. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option C. All are same before law. Both rulers and ruled are subject to the same law and the government does not rule in an arbitrary manner. Question number 14. What is referred to as the supreme law of the land? Option A. Constitution. Option B. Preamble. Option C. Assembly. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Constitution. Constitution is referred to as the supreme law of the land. Question number 15. Which is the highest court of appeal in our country? Option A. High Court. Option B. Supreme Court. Option C. Loka Dalat. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option B. Supreme Court. Supreme Court is the highest court of appeal in our country. Question number 16. Which organization filed the PIL in the Supreme Court against the government for the food shortage in year 2001? Option A. NTPC. Option B. PSCL. Option C. PUCL. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option C. PUCL. People's Union of Civil Liberties, PUCL, had filed the PIL in the Supreme Court against the government for the food shortage in year 2001. Question number 17. Which article states the fundamental right to life guaranteed the right to food? Option A. Article 32. Option B. Article 23. Option C. Article 25. Option D. Article 20. The correct answer is. Option A. Article 32. 
The Constitution thus makes the right to food a guaranteed fundamental right which is enforceable by virtue of the constitutional remedy provided under Article 32 of the Constitution. Question number 18. In which year Pugel filed the PIL in the Supreme Court against the government for the food shortage? Option A. 2000. Option B. 2001. Option C. 2003. Option D. 2002. The correct answer is. Option B. 2001. People's Union of Civil Liberties, PUCL, had filed the PIL in the Supreme Court against the government for the food shortage in the year 2001. Question number 19. Public prosecutor is. Option A. One who represents the interests of the state. Option B. One who investigates crime. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. One who represents the interests of the state. Public prosecutor is a person that has been appointed either by the central government or the state government to represent cases on behalf of the state in criminal trials. The main role of the public prosecutor is to serve the ends of justice in the best interests of the public. Question number 20. An investigation include. Option A. Statement of witness. Option B. Statement of bill. Option C. Statement of judge. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Statement of witness. A witness statement is an individual's account of the facts and events of relevant issues that occurred in a dispute. Although a witness can give their statement orally or in writing, it must eventually be put into a written document and signed by the witness in order for it to be used as proof or evidence in a case. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future video.